Recently, I've been having a lot of fun with High Dream image to image and in painting, like you can see in these examples. Turn illustrations into something more realistic, or something realistic into a more cartoony style, or indeed anything your mind wants to prompt for. Even the creators of High Dream think it's cool, so if you'd like to have a go at home too, then here's what you need to do. First up, you'll need Comfy UI along with the various files needed for High Dream as detailed in last week's video. As we're doing image to image, you'll also need to load an image instead of using this empty latent. Nothing new here if you're used to using these image generation models before, such as SDXL or Flux or whatever. The normal load image will do nicely, or you could load and resize it as well. Attach that to a VAE encode node, and then connect the VAE. Now you have an image latent you can use instead of that empty one. Awesome, now let's take a look at some prompting and various other settings. Personally, I like to color everything and group stuff up, and down here I've also added a little switch to make it easy for picking which latent I want to use for this demonstration. I'm using the FP8 dev model here, plus I've been testing with various clip options. Here, over to the side, you can see Comfy now also has High Dream support in the old dual clip loader now too. And I'll show you an example from that in just a moment. The prompt in this case describes the image below, but as a photograph instead of the cartoon style that it is. This is the input image, which I'm resizing. There is a bit there for in painting too, but we'll take a look at that later. Here is the result. And you can see from the settings, this one used 20 steps. So fewer than the usual 28 for dev, the typical LCM sampler, but a change to the linear quadratic scheduler. Like you can hopefully see in my note there, 20 steps is actually on the high range as you can go much lower. On my 3090 with such low step counts, that means between 10 and 15 seconds per image. The denoise range is fairly small and really depends on the input image and your prompt. Unfortunately, there isn't really a one size fits all setup, but generally speaking, anything less than 0.25 doesn't change enough and anything over 0.4 changes too much. In this case, 0.35 is on the high end for denoise as the change from cartoon to realistic is a fairly big one. Given the strong denoise, that's why I used a detailed prompt to help keep things in check, especially given the high number of steps. I've got a few more examples to show you what I mean, but first let's see what difference that dual clip loader from earlier makes in this case. The result is fairly similar, though the eyes have this extra bit on, and there are a few other minor changes as well. Some say two looks better, but for the remaining examples, I'll be using the quad loader. This time we're doing it the other way around, so turning something into an anime art style illustration. The input is a photo of a man wearing glasses. And this is the result. Notice the K sampler settings this time though. Instead of 20 steps, this one only took five. The denoise is at 0.3, which I find works well in most cases. So even though I've not described the image in any way, I've just prompted for a style, High Dream is still able to apply that style to the image. Increasing the number of steps to 10 adds a bit more detail and some depth to the colors. However, in this case, increasing the steps to something like 16, and we start to get all these artifacts on the face. How about turning someone into a knitted doll? No problem, as here I'm prompting to change the person to be made out of wool and to change their clothing to overalls. This is the image I'm starting with, and in just eight steps, she gets magically transformed into a woolen person. If eight steps is too many, then why not try four? This time the prompt is another simple one. He is made out of wood standing outside a spaceport. The input is this image, and in just four steps he becomes very wooden. 
Slightly cheating a bit there because I'm using a different sampler and the lower CFG does mean it's a bit slower. It seems to use that negative prompt as well, but it does go to show you can play around a bit with all of these settings. So far we've been fairly normal, but perhaps you want to make somebody from scoops of ice cream. Not a problem with a bit of prompting like that. An appropriate input image of some type. And then, as if by magic, anybody can become ice cream. Mmm, delicious. 10 steps for this one with a fairly high denoise 0.36, given the full structural change. Often the thing that becomes difficult is finding the ideas for your prompting, so maybe these next few examples will give you some more. There are some things that work better than others, but so far the prompt understanding has been very good, like with this origami example. Again, I've only prompted for style over content, which then transforms the original input image into something which looks like that. Now, this is where another important point comes in. The more photographic style inputs will generally be easier to change with those more cartoony style inputs, such as this one, often needing a few more steps or a slight increase above that usual 0.3 denoise. For example, here I've got a fairly photographic style input along with a prompt that's very simple, crafted from Delftware Porcelain. With the photographic style input, eight steps and a denoise of just 0.3, and I think the output looks very good indeed. However, when using that cartoony style image with the same settings, eight steps, 0.3 denoise, and as you can see, oh dear, she's just got blue spots. As it needs to change more, that image needs a higher denoise and a higher number of steps before she actually becomes porcelain. Of course, with the higher denoise comes more changing, meaning her hair is now a different color and the eyes have changed too. That can all be updated with prompting, but it demonstrates how your choice of input image can impact the various settings you need to change for your desired outcome. This example shows another common issue. Now, I want to create a pencil art sketch of this guy down here, so my little rodent wizard, but because I've got the word pencil in the prompt and his little staff does kind of look a little bit like a pencil, it's going to latch onto that and immediately turn it into a pencil. So we can overcome that just by saying what it actually is. So it's a rodent wizard holding a staff, and that way the staff will stay as a staff. You'll get the same issue with other things you try, such as crayon style. Obviously, they're going to turn into crayons, or maybe you're mixing something that's yellow with the word cheese. In cases like that, prompting will once again come to your rescue, like in this case where he's definitely holding a staff. Five steps is okay for this one. Generally speaking, that's as low as I reckon you should go, and a denoise of 0.34. There he is. Very nice. Another thing you could try is mixing various styles. However, I have found that often one thing will be a lot more prominent than the other. For example, if I do realistic and anime, then chances are it will turn everything anime. Here I've got mannerism, Francisco Goya, and oil on canvas. The input image is probably something that it's never seen before at all, because I generated it using AI with the result ending up like this. So it's sort of figured, all right, it's a robed person with butterfly wings. And as you can see, it's sort of mixed aspects in there. It's got the mannerism perspective. So yeah, go ahead and try mixing various different styles. Here's another style mix example. I've got painted in the style of René Magritte mixed with abstract expressionism, oil on canvas. This is the input, one of those more cartoony styled images rather than a photograph style. And so here we've got a fairly high number of steps, 18, but the denoise is actually reasonably medium, just 0.29. One of my favorite fairly simple examples is crafted from Smolty, which is a small mosaic tile. This tends to work well in most cases, even if the image is a little bit weird. As you can see, we've got our mosaic flower. It is missing the face in the middle, but I could probably prompt for that if I wanted. 
If you want to keep text in your images, then you'll definitely need to prompt for that. Otherwise, it will change. It seems rodents always have tails with High Dream too, and without using the negative prompt, I'm kind of stuck with that, even though I tried with the word tailless. Other objects could get transformed too, so if you've got a busy looking image like this one with loads of things going on, then chances are you will need to prompt for it in order to keep those bits consistent. As you can see here, I have specifically asked for the lamp on the left and a plant on the right, bowl of oranges on the floor, and painting of a girl with a pearl earring on the wall. And there it is in just eight steps and a 0.29 denoise. Another little test then, how much will change if I just change the painting in the background? So same setting, same prompt, apart from I've got a painting of a robot hangs on the wall instead. Well, it's done what I asked, the painting is different, but my tail has shifted position and so have a few other things. I also seem to now have dropped some pizza on the floor, whoopsie. So yes, even if you make fairly small changes like that to your prompt, you can expect to have a reasonably large impact on the rest of the image. There are some definite biases towards human and animals. Here I've got a simple made out of sand prompt but my input image is of a colourful airlock door. It needs a fairly high denoise to become sand, but at just 0.38 it's made... Well, that's not an airlock, it's very artistic though. Okay, I think we've covered loads on prompting, steps, denoise, input image types, meaning it must be time for just a little bit of in-painting. Does it work? Yeah, kind of. In the prompt here then, let's have a look. I am asking for, on the whiteboard is written, good morning, Miss Take, in English writing with a smiley face underneath and a rubbish drawing of a dragon in full colour. Just the same as with SDXL or whatever, for in painting, the image has a mask applied to it and goes through a set latent noise mask node. Opening that image up in mask editor and dropping the mask opacity down so we can see what's there. So it has got a whiteboard with a sort of reflection of her, but that is the mask we're applying. The result looks fine to me, though this time I have got a very high denoise of 0.53 and just 10 steps. Another quick example with a lower denoise for this image. Once again, let's open that up in mask editor and we'll lower that mask opacity. So that's the original image, and I've got the face masked. And then in the prompt, I'm asking for the face of a bearded hipster dude with a stupid derpy expression. The result seems fine once again, using 20 steps and a denoise of 0.32. Well, hang on, if in-painting works, then what about out-painting? Unfortunately, uh, that doesn't seem to work quite as well, unless anybody's got any better ideas. Image 2 image is awesome though, so don't forget to smash like and do let me know down in those comments if you make any interesting prompt discoveries. Ooh, nerdy rodent. He really makes my day. Showing us AI in a really British way.